What now that you have received a full dose vaccine of Sinovac or AstraZeneca? Are there some perks that you can do in front of other people, whether they're vaccinated or not? So good afternoon, I'm Dr. Jerry Tan and this afternoon I'm going to talk to you about what are some of the activities that you can now do safely after your full COVID vaccination. There are some good news for everyone. Are there some areas where vaccinated people will no longer need a mask? And this is what we're waiting for. Are there some activities that we can now do safely without wearing a mask? and which areas where we need to continue wearing a mask but still very safe for us vaccinated people to gather. Our goal at present time as primary care providers to our patients is to continue convincing our patients to be vaccinated. We are trying to fight what we call as the cynics or the anti-vaxxers. We are trying to fight against the propaganda and YouTubers who are propagating non-approved medical interventions instead of vaccination. We now have real-world data to prove that vaccination do work. This is the data of newly confirmed cases in the United States. In part, the Philippines is most likely like the United States because prior to the vaccination, we are really not good at mitigation measures. In spite of lockdowns, masking, face shields, we continue to have an increased number of cases of COVID-19. Hopefully, just like the United States, where more and more people are now accepting vaccinations in 2021, they are pretty so far good at vaccination, so you can clearly see that there's a significant drop in the number of new cases. Similarly, if you closely looked at Israel, you can clearly see that in real world, vaccinating can do wonders. Israel at present has a significantly 99% fewer cases of uh, COVID-19 now approximately only five daily cases per billion. Since the vaccination after their mid-January peak, there are now 98% fewer critically ill patients or 0.4 cases daily per million. And most importantly, 98% fewer deaths. And this real-world data should convince all of us that vaccination is the only way to get out of this pandemic because now in Israel, life is back to normal with very few restrictions remain. In our country, we continue to have a surge of cases, but so far in the NCR, in the Luzon area, we are now having slightly less cases after modified enhanced community quarantine. So, so far in our country, if you look at the National COVID-19 Vaccination Dashboard, happy to say that we are so far the third among the ASEAN countries in terms of the number of vaccinations. It's not enough, but it's pretty better than the rest of the Asian regions. Right now, there are more than 320,000 patients fully vaccinated versus COVID-19 according to the Department of Health and this is mainly from Sinovac because uh, the AstraZeneca uh, patients are still awaiting their second dose but now with these 2 million vaccine doses of AstraZeneca which has arrived now our uh, patients are able to get the second dose of AstraZeneca vaccine soon. So there will be more and more of our cases of our patients who will be fully vaccinated. So once our patients are fully vaccinated, therefore there are certain benefits that our patients will definitely get. 
One of them is their cap the vaccines have the capacity to actually prevent infection against COVID variants. Studies have shown that different vaccines, whether we're talking about GMJ, we're talking about AstraZeneca or Sinovac, based on lab studies and randomized clinical trials, including real-world experience, that not only are these vaccines effective against symptomatic COVID-19, but they're also effective against uh, infection against these variants. So now that we have a chance to be fully vaccinated, at present time, I'm fully vaccinated with Sinovac. A lot of my patients have already been fully vaccinated with Sinovac but a lot of my patients are also awaiting their second dose of AstraZeneca. What then are our perks? If you visit my clinic, if you visit your relatives, that you are fully vaccinated. Here are some of the guidelines by the Centers for Disease Control among people who are fully vaccinated. Let's go to outdoor activities. First, you can now walk, run, or exercise outside of your house, outdoors, with members of your household, without a mask. In fact, right now, based on data, that the risk of outdoor transmission is very low, and vaccinated people can actually go out as long as it's not a crowded place without a mask. But the safest is among patients who are vaccinated. The fully vaccinated people can also attend a small outdoor gathering as long as they are all fully vaccinated family and friends. Now, if you have one unvaccinated person who attends a small outdoor gathering, then he is also safe because all the members of the group are all vaccinated. However, the fully vaccinated people are safest to attend a small outdoor gathering with fully vaccinated people and a mixture of unvaccinated people. The problem is for those unvaccinated people, they should wear a mask. These people should continue wearing a mask, social distancing, because they are still unvaccinated. When we talk about dining at outdoor restaurants with friends from multiple households, fully vaccinated people can do that with great safety without wearing a mask. So you can go with friends, you're fully vaccinated, as long as it's an outdoor restaurant, you don't even need to wear a mask. But it is not safe for unvaccinated people to join if they have to, again, special precautions of social distancing and wearing a mask. For fully vaccinated people, if they have to attend a crowded outdoor event like a live performance, parade, or sports event, it is very safe. But since it's a crowded environment, they should wear a mask. But it is safe for them to join. But it is not advisable for unvaccinated people. With regard to guidelines by the CDC for fully vaccinated people in terms of indoor activities, visiting a barber is now possible for fully vaccinated people as long as you wear a mask and it's very safe. Because I'm fully vaccinated, I was finally able to have a visit with a barber for my much needed haircut. But for unvaccinated people, it is not safe, and therefore I would still recommend that you do your own haircut. For fully vaccinated people, you can go to uncrowded indoor shopping center or museum, as long as you wear a mask and it is very safe. But again, going to uncrowded indoor shopping with air conditioning is not safe for unvaccinated people. The same goes to riding a public transport with limited occupancy. Now, talking about indoor activities, fully vaccinated people can do it safely, attend a small indoor gathering of fully vaccinated and unvaccinated people from multiple households, but 
this is not recommended among unvaccinated people. It is not safe even though you continue to wear a mask on social distance. If you want to go to an indoor movie theater for fully vaccinated people, it is safe as long as they wear a mask. But for unvaccinated people, it is the least safe to join. Therefore, it is not recommended. Similar to movie theater, if you attend a full capacity worship uh, service in a church, fully vaccinated people cannot join and attend as long as they wear a mask, but not for unvaccinated people. Similar to singing an indoor chorus or eating in an indoor restaurant or bar. So for those of you who are not yet fully vaccinated, I see a lot of restaurants being filled with people. I don't even know if they're vaccinated or not. Specifically now, only 300,000 have been fully vaccinated. I'm pretty worried. Please make sure that if you have already received two doses of your vaccine, you may join, you may eat and enjoy indoor restaurant as long as you wear a mask. But for unvaccinated people, again, as I've mentioned, it is still not safe to be exposed to this virus in an indoor environment. This is similar to participating in an indoor high intensity exercise class. Clearly you can see that there are now lots of perks for fully vaccinated people until at least 70% of our population have been fully vaccinated. We may be able to remove some of these restrictions in the future, but for now, the CDC gives us these guidelines that if possible, if you're not yet fully vaccinated, please be very careful in doing certain activities that will expose you to more harm than good. Again, thank you very much for listening. This is Dr. Jerry Tan. Thank you and good afternoon.